everyone and welcome to my channel my name is maria habila straight into today's conversation because in this current dispensation some people actually think christians are pagans yes there's a video i'm going to find the video and try to insert for you guys see this woman said rama sado connect herself sweet she said in quotes that because she's connect she's always intertwining with pagans that's the reason why she's doing most of the things that she's doing. I don't get it. I don't get it. In this present day, age and time, this jet age, auntie, one, rethink your civilization and your education. That is if you're even educated. Number one, I just feel like we have... Drama is always an issue in Nigeria. Do you understand? We are still going to go back on lucky shooting. We must find out who sent those soldiers to go and kill innocent people. Arresting Ramasado and trying to shift everything to Ramasado is not even going to work. They first brought looting, looting of palliatives to distract us. And now Ramasado is not going to work. That lady is legit making her money. People that are jealous of her, that's their business. They should be jealous and go and kill themselves. That's their bloody business. But trying to sabotage the girl's image for only God knows what. First of all, she was suspended from... Kanyewood filmmakers, whatever, the organization, they suspended her. Next, they are sending a letter of invitation. The police is inviting her for questioning. Hello? Hello? Excuse me. Let me ask you one question. When Ganduja's daughter wore that revealing dress for her wedding, how many times did they question her? Did they even... Did they even okay, we just started on social media. Nah, 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 nah. And that was it. When Nuhu Ribadu's daughter's wedding that happened which day which day backyard here, what did they do? Eh, she came out to her project, I know that dress she wasn't supposed to go out to it, kiniko, kiniko, and that was it. And now because this girl is the daughter of nobody, people decided we're going to drill this one and make her a scapegoat. FYI, I'm going to give you guys an information that first hand I saw. Back then in Abu Uzaria, we had some of the most low controlled, in fact, those boys, Hausa boys, did not have self control back then in uni. <laughs> I gave you guys a gist of how somebody came on my back, Nabi, on my dress, like we we're lining up to enter the theater. Somebody came on my on my bum. It happened legit. This one was to me. I have seen not once, not twice, people who would literally be drooling over a girl's cleavage. This one is a barco. Like it was her back that was showing. And we have now taken it overboard and even inviting her for questioning. Okay, let's say, what do you call them? Um, Hisba, Hisba board. They, they are the ones that discipline people. Hisba board, let me give you guys a place where you should go in, in, in Kano because I firsthand I have seen. Usually when I was working 9 to 5, when I'm closing from work, I follow through Nasarawa Hospital. For all of you who are familiar with Kano, Nasarawa Hospital is trackable to the government house. It's on a straight line like this. In fact, from Nasarawa Hospital straight, you see government house. Okay? That is in central Kano. There's a hospital there. That's the Nasarawa Hospital. I, used to, I usually used to go there and pick up my clothes from my tailor because most weekends I don't branch there. So that day I stopped out to pick my clothes. Usually anytime I stop there I, in the evenings, like that after work, it's you see some girls with hijab standing on the road waiting to be picked up. Those are prostitutes, okay? They wear hijabs. Have you gone to pick those people up? Let me even give you guys the gist. That day I came back from work and I needed to pick up something and then I wasn't feeling fine so I waited to see the doctor in the night. So after seeing the doctor, it was time for me to leave. The nurse that was on evening shift was already leaving. So that was like around 8.30. We just came out to board Keke. She was going a different direction, I was going a different direction. So we just came out of the building to stand outside. And then one girl said, please, we should shift, so this is her area. And when I turned, there were like three of them standing, waiting to be picked. That is like along the corner of a, what do you call that hotel now, in Kano. Oh, if I remember the hotel, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll even insert it. That's like around, uh, along that corner. The road is usually dark. And so they always stay there. He's like, we'll go and pick people from there. Every night, I assure you, from that club road, club road, no, not necessarily, from, um, what do you call this place now? Golf field. That place, that race course road. Go there, you'll pick enough 
Ramasodo, Ramasado did not and she is not going to be a center of attraction. She, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. We have problems that are bigger than Ramasado. What is the meaning of this embarrassment? I beg, go and help us look for Shekau, Abishe Karau. What's that man's name that has been threatening the peace of Nigeria, the unity of Nigeria? That's like the greatest offense as far as I'm concerned. Go and look for that man and stop coming to look for people's children who are dressed indecently. See, indecency is her business, it's her body. There's no place in Nigerian culture that says you must dress to cover your body. If I decide to walk naked on the streets, that's my bloody damn business. And Instagram is her personal space. She posted it there. If you went there to see it, it's because you are following her. So unfollow her if you don't want to see those kinds of things. If you want to be rational about these things, how about our auntie Tiwa? I made it in the last video that she wore almost a, it was a nude picture. Did you put arrest that one? How many times these people dress for their birthday parties with their entire cleavage? Why didn't you go and uh, uh, arrest Dorothy that her entire boobs were showing all over Big Brother? Why didn't you go and arrest all those celebrities that have been parading themselves and showing themselves naked on the on the street of instagram because it's their personal space it, it's none of your business and calling that girl up for questioning is is i is, is the height of nonsense how about northern nigeria and in this day age and time somebody is coming out says because she's associating with arna that is christians and see you are very very out of your mind christians are not arna we have religion we worship god and for heaven's sake, even if she's relating with whoever she's relating with, how is that your business? You're saying you're not going to beg for her. Who asks you? That girl star is going to rise and shine above whatever any bloody damn person thinks. See, this thing is spinning me because somebody was like, ha, Northern Nigeria, this is like 21st century. This is 2020, okay? When the 21st century, why is not the 1980s where you are responsible for doing things as little as showing their back ah, I am I am I am I am I'm am, am embarrassed first and foremost I'm a northerner I am from Adamawa state I say it often and I have first cousins that are Muslims I have grandparents that are Muslims I have aunties and uncles that are Muslims we live and dine together because they are family and for somebody to sit down in her bloody comfort zone and say if it's her child she would dash that she would dice the girl on 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 a she would dice her with knife and throw her in on pack her a bit pick her pack and throw her away that's what she said if it's her child children have a mind of their own but gone are those days where you sit down and just say as my child you need to dress in a certain way it's my business what i wear on my body because you know what it is my body Please, what is all this madness? Go and arrest people that are looting our... I mean, how many of those governors have you called to say, why, why are your palliatives still packed up in stores and some are even spoiling, you've not disbursed them, you've not shared them to the citizens? How many of those people have you called for questioning? But you're calling somebody because of what she wore. Okay, if you want to now start calling people because of what they wore, start from the, from the, from the beginning. Go and call Ganduje's daughter. Go and call No Ribadu's daughter. Go and call every other celebrity. In fact, including Marian Boots. Call everybody that has in one way or the other exposed their body. And I'm telling you, if you want to do this in a holistic way, pick including non Arewa, non Northerners. Okay? Go and pick the Easterners and the Westerners. Those people who walk around with bomb shots, go and pick them. Then we know that you are mad and you do not have a sense of direction. How about that, Allah? Please let it stop. Leave that girl alone. What she wore is not a crime. It is not a crime. It is her body. She has every right to do whatever she wants to do with it. All of you going about to do nye 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 nye. No problem. And for those of you, the Arewa, our brothers and sisters in the north, whether you like Tonoche, my brother and sister, if they say north, Adamawa is but part of the north. And there are Christians there, and you bloody hell do not have any right to call me an Arnia or Kafra because I have a religion. Same as you do, I respect your religion. You should always respect mine. If not, this 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 Nigeria is gonna be small for us. So it's going to be small. If we want to start, 
accusing people and saying you have no if i don't have religion it concerns you i'm so upset because the fact that people feel that because christians are liberal and dress however they like and walk around the streets is a yardstick to insult every other christian i'm going to call your attention to a lot of christians and muslims in lagos in fact muslims in lagos that wear bomb short and walk around go and arrest those people that are wearing uh, hijab on top of bomb short and pulling it off at the clubs go and arrest those people go go and arrest them and leave people who live their lives transparently that's all i have to say if anything comes up i'm be dressed as i'm going to come back to lash because I don't understand why somebody will call Christians Arna and Sarah Masada is mingling with Arna. That's the reason why she's doing what she's doing. If you want to attack her, attack her. Don't rob Christianity on top of it. Mm -mm. I would not have it because if somebody insults your prophet, you're going to turn the whole of the north upside down. We are not going to allow you call us Arna again or Kafre. That regime don't pass. You don't go. Any person in my comment section. Come out, I will, I will face you squarely. My head no correct though. My dear people, I've ranted enough. I'm a cool, calm, collected Northern Nigerian lifestyle blogger. But there are some issues you need to address and just, you know what, address them squarely so that they never resurface again, okay? My name is Maria Habila and I'm a Northern Nigerian lifestyle vlogger. Drop in your comments. That's if you even watch up to this stage. And if you watch up to this stage, I would want to know that you watched up to this stage. So I'll shout out to you in my next video. I'll see you guys subscribe in my next video.